So hi everybody and welcome to my channel. So Cody went ahead and they released an update. Cody 22. So stay tuned. I'll show you how to get it. It's time for streaming. So hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. if you're new to the channel, you like what you're seeing. Please go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button and ring that bell. And also, if you're a return subscriber, thank you very much for dropping on back in. If you like what you're seeing, please give me a thumbs up. It's well appreciated. So Cody went ahead and they released a new version, Cody 22. I'm going to show you a nice, simple, fast way of going ahead and downloading it. So today I'm on the Fire Stick 4K Max second generation, and I'm on the home screen. Now, there is another program that you need before you could go ahead and download the Kodi. Let's go over to the left where the magnifying glass or find. Come on down to search, click on search, then come on over to the letter D. Once you get over to the letter D, come on down to where it says downloader. Click on downloader. Give it a few seconds to change the page. Right here underneath apps and games is downloader. Click that enter button on your remote. Now it says download your on it. Click the enter button again. It's in queue. It's downloading. It's installing. Now it's going to open up, but we don't want to open it up yet. Let's go and click that home button on our remote. Come on over to the right to where the profile is or the gear. Then what you want to do is you want to come down to where it says My Fire TV, down to where it says Developer Options, and Install Unknown Apps. Give that a click. Come down to Downloader. Click it and turn it on. Now you can go click that home button again on your remote. Now let's go back over to the right where the three squares are in the plus sign, also known as your apps. Let's give it a click. Come on down to where downloader is. Anytime you download something new, it's always gonna be down at the bottom. You could click the three lines on your remote. Say move to front. There it goes, right to the front. Click that home button on your remote again. Come on over to the right to where Downloader is. Click the Enter button on your remote. Let's open up Downloader for the first time. You can read through this if you like, but just go ahead and click OK. Now you want to come up to here where it says Enter a URL, Search Term, or a Short Code. Well, we're going to go right to the resource itself. So let's go in and type in the following. You want to type in Cody.tv. Then click on Go. This is going to bring you right to the Cody webpage itself. You don't have to worry about going anyplace else. Come on over to the right where the three lines are. Click on it. Go back over to the left. Come on down to where it says download. Once you get to download, click on it. Now you need to come on down. You want to find the new Android guy. Then you want to click on the Android guy. Once you click on the Android guy, don't go nowhere yet. Just come over here to it says pre-release. Here it is, Cody version 22. Peers, pre-release builds. Now you want to come down and grab the 32-bit one. Give that a few seconds. The page will change and start installing, as you can see right now. Now the page has changed because I already brought down and downloaded the program for you. Go over to the right and click on install. After it's done, do not click open yet. Let's click on done. Now you want to click on delete and delete again. This way it clears out the file from your downloader app. Click that home button on your remote. Once again, let's go over to where the three boxes and the plus sign is. Click on it. Go down to where you find the K. Here it is right here. Click the three lines on your remote. Say move to front. This way anytime you want to use the Kodi app, you can. Now let's go ahead, click on it, open it up, continue, it's fine, and allow is what you want to do. It's preparing for the first time run. Here it is, Cody has opened up, and you could go ahead and watch TV shows, music, music videos. You can import anything that you want to put in here, because remember, Cody is a media player. So they're not going to have nothing in here until you put it in here yourself. See, like my add-ons right now is Tubi. I have Plex, so I could go ahead and watch things through here, through Cody. 
Let's click that home button on our remote. According to the YouTube guidelines, I am not allowed to show you anything else. No type of builds for Cody. Thus, I can show you how to go ahead and get the app. I hope you find this video very helpful and entertaining. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you're still using Cody or you're using something else. Thank you for watching. And remember, day or night, it's time for streaming.